Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about a very important body image topic. And this is something that everybody needs to know if you are beginning your body image healing journey, or maybe you're not sure if you want to heal yet. If you feel insecure in your body, not very comfortable, not confident, maybe you're body checking, maybe you have body dysmorphia, maybe you're comparing your body to others, or maybe you compare your current body to your past body, then this is a video that you're going to want to watch and probably take some notes. In case we've never met before, I'm Sloan Elizabeth. I'm a spiritual food freedom and body image coach, and I combine science with spirituality to help women around the world heal their relationship with food and with their body so that they can eat, move, and live with love and intuition. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and you hit subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other videos all about doing this deep healing work. A lot of people talk about accepting our bodies. If you're struggling with how your body looks, if you want to lose weight, if you are just not happy with what you see in the mirror and you look at body image confidence accounts and quotes and videos and episodes and podcasts, you're going to see a lot of people talking about accepting your body. Now, if you're anything like me, when I was struggling with my body image, I did not want to accept my body. Like that was the opposite of what I wanted. I wanted to change my body. I was not happy with my body. So why would I accept it? That to me sounded like failure and maybe you're the same. And if so, then please keep watching and listening. I had to realize eventually after years of forcing myself to do two workouts a day, forcing myself to uphold all of these arbitrary food rules, looking at myself in the mirror and like pinching my waist, putting my hips back in pictures so that it looked like I had a thigh gap. I spent years doing that and I did not want to accept my body. That was precisely the opposite of what I wanted to do. What I realized, and this is what I want you to realize too, is that acceptance does not mean settling. Accepting your body does not mean settling for a body that you don't love. And accepting your body doesn't mean settling for something less than what you deserve. So then what does acceptance mean? This is really important because I didn't, I didn't want to settle, right? That felt like failure. I wasn't going to be reaching my weight loss goals and my body goals and my fitness goals. But acceptance is not about settling and saying, well, I've just got to accept this body. It's the one body I have for this lifetime, so I better accept her. That's kind of like the common rhetoric that we hear around body image, but I'm offering you something else, something that hopefully aligns and clicks with you. Accepting your body means being in the present moment with acceptance. So settling and thinking that accepting your body means settling is very much about the future. Like I'm going to have to accept this body and this body is going to be my body forever. And so I'm like locked in for the future. And that can make us feel like, no, I don't want that. Like I want to change. I feel stuck. I don't want that. And this isn't even, we're not even really talking about like body image with weight loss goals. That can be for a totally different episode, but body acceptance is going to be really, really important whether you decide to eventually accept your body and not pursue any fitness or weight loss goals. Maybe for you, there actually needs to be some weight gain, right? This is where the intricacies of healing your relationship with food and your body come to play. Or maybe it does eventually feel aligned and genuinely healthy to release some physical weight. Then I still recommend you do this first and you listen to all of this. Accepting for the present moment is really what we're going for. Meaning, can I accept that this body is the one that I have today? Because ultimately that is a truth that you can't really argue with. But when you are beating yourself up, when you're pinching your body in the mirror, when you're getting dressed and you're saying all these mean things to your body, when you're scrolling on Instagram and you're looking at Kendall Jenner, that's what I used to do and be like, oh, 
can't I just be like her? Oh my God, I'm so jealous, like that's so unfair. When you're doing that, you are fighting against what is right in front of you. You're fighting against the reality of your body. And I know you might not wanna hear this, but it is important to confront the reality that the body you have right now is the body you have right now. And accepting that body means becoming one with your body so that you and your body are on the same team together right now. Because the alternative, maybe this is where you are right now, is fighting your body and beating her up and being mean to her, tearing her down. And that is just a futile effort that's not gonna get you anywhere. Because even if you hated your body to weight loss or you hated your body to the change, I'm pretty sure that once you get to that change, you're not gonna feel as fabulous as you thought you would because you've been rehearsing this hatred. And when you rehearse certain thoughts, those thoughts get ingrained and the thoughts stay even when your external reality changes. This is why I've heard from so many clients, especially in the Body Love Blueprint and in Food Freedom Collective, they've told me like they've been on the yo-yo. They're like, Sloan, I've lost the way I've gained it back, I've lost it again. And even when I lost it, I still wasn't happy. And when I look back at photos of myself when I was smaller, I remember being in that moment and not being confident. This is my point. You can just hate your body to the physical results, but you're not guaranteed to actually feel better or to feel confident at all. So what if instead you accepted your body for the present moment, And you said, you know what? I accept that this is where my body is right now. Like what a relief to stop fighting. And you might be thinking, okay, but if I don't fight, if I don't put in the effort, if I don't use my motivation and my willpower to fight to change my body, then I'm just going to settle. I'm going to let myself go. And I don't want that either. But remember my first point, acceptance is not settling. Acceptance is mindfulness. It's a moment of presence and awareness for the current moment of now. And that's basically the definition of mindfulness. So can we say, I accept that this is where my body is right now. And as I accept that this is where she is right now, I'm becoming one with her. What if we were on the same team? What if I decided to work with my body to get her to the place where mentally we're feeling happy and confident, physically we're feeling strong, we're feeling energized, and in my soul and my spirit, I feel free and I feel at peace. That is a recipe to feeling at peace and free and feeling strong and healthy. And if there are aligned, loving fitness or physical goals, you're gonna get there a hell of a lot faster when you are working with your body. How many times have you gotten to a successful project, let's say at work, where you and your teammates are butting heads the entire time? Maybe you got to a successful final result, finished project. But the journey there was probably hell and really annoying and miserable. And then you're not even proud of your progress at the end. You're like, oh, thank God this is done. Do we really want that with our bodies? No. But when you work really well with your teammates and you're working on a project and it's collaborative and you accept that you have a certain role and you accept that your teammates or your colleagues have a certain role, you're gonna have a much smoother, better time accomplishing that project. And then once it's accomplished and successful, you're going to feel amazing and you're going to be able to celebrate together. This is just how it works. This is just how teammates work and teamwork works. Accepting your body for the present moment. I accept that this is where my body is right now. And what if I accepted that we could be teammates? What if I accepted that this is where my body is now and I'm accepting so that I can have a clearer path to where my body is going? You're at point A right now and there's a point B. Even if you don't have any fitness goals, your body will never stay the same because our body ages and we go through different seasons and phases of life. If you have a menstrual cycle, your body is changing all the freaking time. If you become pregnant, your body's changing a lot. If you then have your baby, your body changes a lot. Even if you are not doing any of those things, if you don't have a cycle, if we're taking pregnancy out of it, your body will still change. I can promise you that. Acceptance is about the present moment so that you can move to that point B with your body as a team. It's going to be a much better journey. It's going to be filled with a lot more happiness and peace. And therefore, if you're on a journey that's happier and more peaceful and more clear and calm, don't you think you're going to get to that point B a lot faster? Yes.
I don't want you to settle. I don't want you to settle for anything in life, whether it's your health, your fitness, your hobbies, your career goals. Settling is not the vibe. We are here to live big, to live bold, to live large. If you are fighting against yourself, if you're fighting against your body, you're not accepting, sure, maybe you're gonna get to that point B, but it's gonna take a lot longer and it's just not gonna be a fun time. What if instead of thinking of accepting your body as settling, you thought of acceptance as a white flag of surrender. I surrender the fight, let's work together. What if acceptance was a moment of relief that you don't have to fight anymore? What if acceptance was a breath of relaxation, a breath of fresh air? Your body is going to feel safer. Your heart and your soul and your mind are going to feel happier. And then that opens you up to being so much more in tune with your body, being so much more in tune with your hunger cues, your fullness cues, your energy cues, your pain cues, your pleasure cues. Your body is a teammate. When you accept your role and you allow yourself to accept that your body does have a role you're just gonna thrive like your your physical health your mental health your soul health your body image your body confidence is going to soar because you're co-creating you're co-working with your body this is so so huge i want you to not think about acceptance as failure or settling or giving up that is not it instead accepting your body is about harmony accepting your body is about a moment of relief letting go of the pressure letting go of the fight so that you can move forward you're never stuck we're always moving forward the clock is always ticking i want you to be able to move forward in your health goals but also just in your life goals with your body because your body's going to follow you everywhere where you can accept that you and your body are on the same team this team is going to get you so much farther than struggling fighting and feeling that self-hatred will ever get you i hope that this was really helpful in really introducing body acceptance into your life. If you loved this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Write me a comment below. Let me know if you had any big aha moments or takeaways. Make sure to subscribe and then check out the details for my body image course below. It's called the Body Love Blueprint and it walks you through my three-step healing method of healing your body image so that you can feel confident, sexy, free, and comfortable in your skin and in your body for good. Sending you so much love and thank you so much for watching.